Double data entry is a process in which two people separately enter the information for the same record. Then a third person goes in and adjudicates which set of data entry is correct. REDCap has a double data entry module that allows you to use this process in REDCap. If you want to use double data entry, you'll first have to talk to the REDCap administrator because it has to be turned on in the project for you. This should be done before you have done any data entry on the project. The REDCap administrator will go into your project settings on the control side and enable double data entry. Once the changes have been made, you will notice that auto numbering has been disabled completely for the project. This is because there will now be three versions of each record. The first data entry person's version, the second data entry person's version, and then the merged version. After double data entry has been enabled in your project, you'll need to set up the data entry roles. To do this, go to your user rights. You'll need at least three people to be on the project for double data entry. To set the roles for each person, you'll click on their username. Go to Edit User Privileges. Now under Other Privileges, you see Double Data Entry. This user has been assigned as Person 1, one of the data entry people. You will also need to assign a person to and then any remaining people in your project will be reviewers, people who can view both entries. There are already many records entered in this project, meaning it usually would not be a good candidate for double data entry, but let's pretend we just need to do double data entry from here on out. First, I'll log in as one of the other users. Here I'm logged in as the first data entry person. When I go to the project with this username and look at the record status dashboard, it will show up as blank. That's because as a person assigned to one of the data entry roles in double data entry, I would only be able to see records that I had created. Adding a new record to the project works just like it does with regular data entry. I'll go to Add Edit Records. Because auto numbering has been disabled as part of the double data entry module being enabled, I have to manually enter in the new record ID. Here it takes me to the record home page and I can jump to a form. I save the record and exit form. Now let's log in as the other data entry person. Here we'll all still see the record status dashboard looking blank because no records have been entered yet as data entry person 2 either. We go in and we give the record the same record ID. You'll see how they're differentiated once we look at it as a reviewer. Again, data entry is exactly like it is with any other record. And if we look at the record status dashboard now, there will have been one entry done by data entry person 2. Now let's look at the record status dashboard under our reviewer. Here we can see the two new records that we just entered in, record 92 
entered by person 1, and record 92 entered by person 2. However, it's not very useful to just have two copies of the same record sitting there. What we want to do is review the data that was entered, see where there are differences, decide which person was correct, and create a merged record. To do this, we're going to go to the Data Comparison tool under Applications on the left-hand menu. We'll select the record via the drop-down and compare the selected record. Here, it lets us see any place that there is a difference in the two data entry. For example, I gave them different dates of birth, the time, which was automatically calculated, was different. I forgot a field as data entry person 1, but data entry person 2 did it correctly. If I want to merge them into a third clean record, I click here. Now, for every place there's a discrepancy, I'm going to tell REDCap which value is correct. If neither value is correct, I can enter in a new value that will overwrite both of them. When I'm satisfied that the record is now corrected, I click Merge Records and a new record has been created. If I go back to the record status dashboard, I can see it down here at the bottom. The records for each data entry person have not been automatically deleted out. REDCap will never automatically delete your data. You'll have to do that manually if you want to get rid of them, or you can wait and clean them out on the back end. They'll always be distinctive with the hyphen hyphen one or the hyphen hyphen two in the record ID. One significant limitation to the double data entry module is that it does not work on repeating forms. If you have a form that you have set up to repeat, double data entry will not be useful in your project because at this time you'll only be able to review and merge the first instance of the repeating form. You won't be able to compare the later instances. So that was an overview of how to set up double data entry in REDCap. I hope it was helpful and that we'll see you again.